Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel, The Engineering Survey. In the last video, we showed you how to orient the instrument using backside azimuth option. Right? So today we are going to show you how to orient the instrument using backside any Z option. First, uh, we need to uh, switch on the instrument and go to the particular job. Right? You, uh, if you can remember, so I will uh, start from beginning and show you. Right? Right, switch on and check the tilt. Right, for that go to uh, go to shift, tilt, and see. So we need to bring the bubble to the center. Right, it is exactly at the center. Then go to uh, memory and see the job is there. So we save the job as job one. So we are working in the same location. So we keep it as it is. So the coordinate read job is there. Uh, we need to check it. It is also job one. Then escape from that. Then you need to go to EDM and check the settings. The temperature is 30. The pressure is 1013. PPM automatically will be adjusted. The prism constant is minus 30 because we are using prism and the mode is fine average. Right, so then we go back to the coordinate, right? So you, for that we can use function button. Uh, first we need to go to coordinates and then go to station data and view the station data. So the whatever the station data we saved last time is there. It is the data of 9010. So the same co since the same coordinates are there, I'm not going to feed them, feed it back because this is the coordinate of the uh, 9010 right so we which we which was used for the uh, backside azimuth orientation option right so then i click ok the instrument height is the same height right then the backside data so now we are going to give another coordinate right so previously we gave a direction so since now we are giving a coordinate there should be something which can reflect the reading back. So now if you see carefully there, we have fixed a prism there, right? Over one of the control points. So we know the coordinates of that particular control point, right? Therefore, we can use that point for the orientation. So since the instrument knows the two coordinates of uh, two control points, so it can automatically do the calculation and find the direction. Right. So the station data is here, uh, so we have already given it, now we need to go to backside data, so first we need to clamp this one and give the backside data, right, so in the backside data, uh, previously we used backside azimuth, that is angle, so now we are going to give the coordinates, right, the coordinate of the observation point, right, the, the code of the particular control point is 9011, so uh, it is four seven eight eight seven nine point zero six five and east in is four one three seven five nine Seven five nine point seven five nine, and he said the height of that control point is seventeen point three three. Then, before we press OK, we need to target to that particular prism, right? So I'm going to target it. First, I need to uh, see through the gun sight and target it. Take the post to the center. Right. Then I remove the parallax error by moving my eye side by side near to the eyepiece. 
right so now i press ok right now i press ok so i press f4 here and then it has set the azimuth side back side now it has already calculated the angle from north to this uh, particular control point right so we need to give yes for that so now the instrument has been oriented using backside azimuth option so the next thing is we can check whether it has been correctly oriented how we can do that now sir? if this has been correctly oriented whatever the coordinate we obtain should be correct right should be a correct coordinate so now we have already fixed our one of our prisms over that control point so we can check whether that control point is correct right if if not we can fix another prism over a non control point and get the reading and check whether it is correct right right now we have oriented the instrument using backside any such method now we need to check whether our orientation is correct so for that what we can easily do is we can easily target to the already uh, fixed uh, prism over there and check whether the same coordinate will come when we are measuring it right so now i have already targeted to the prism so what i have to do is i need to go to observation right i need to go to observation and observe and click enter right now so now in the observation um, so we have already feed the station data and the backside data backside data is the data uh, of that prism and now we are going to observe the coordinate right so now we can check it right this is the coordinate we obtain for that particular station so the northing coordinate uh, in the list is 9011784788790600 um, and the other one is 413759 and 759 here in the northing direction we have 6 mm error and easting direction we have about 3 mm error and uh, the height uh, it is not the correct height because we need to feed the height of the reflector first so when we are recording this reading as the backside reading here we have one option to feed the reflector height so the reflector height here is uh, here given as a uh, zero right but actually what we need to do is we need to measure the height of the reflector by using a tape similarly uh, how we did in the uh, total station right so in the total station also we measured the height using the tape similarly we need to measure the height of that uh, instrument and feed let's assume that it is about 1.4 1.4 uh, uh, now you see the height here it was about 19 point something now it has changed to 17.829 right so we need to check the height as well so these are the readings that we get for those uh, uh, two control points so uh, now we can verify this orientation is somewhat correct some some small errors in north in and east direction is there that may be due to the instrumental errors or sometimes uh, due to the human errors right so now here we have 6 mm error in uh, the north in direction and uh, 3 mm error in east direction so to reduce the error we need to uh, check the centers of this uh, control points so that we need to go and uh, see through the optical plummet of the target and see whether that it is exactly on the uh, control point and after we adjust it again we can recheck whether we are getting the same coordinate after doing the orientation and uh, that's how we confirm our orientation is correct so once we have oriented the instrument like this then again we we can obtain the coordinate similarly we did in the previous uh, backside azimuth example right so now here the same prism is uh, fixed there uh, at that corner of the structure so i am going to take the coordinate with respect to these two control points the control point of this particular station and the control point of the backside so now i am going to turn the uh, instrument to the prism and target to the center of it so usually i target to the uh, points of the side arrows the 
the horizontal fossa i should be carrying the side uh, points of the horizontal arrow and the vertical hair has to uh, tally with the point of the down arrow at the top of the board right so now i have already targeted now i i click the observation to get the reel right now i get the coordinate of that point and i need to record it then i need to feed the height reflector height here the reflector height is 1.5 of that particular uh, reflector so okay and the code code is the building structure right so i can give a code uh, uh, building structure right bs building structure bs and now i can save it so it was recorded it was recorded so that's how we get the details of structures after orienting the instrument so today you learned how to orient the instrument using backside any insert method and how to obtain details after doing the orientation so in the next video we will teach you how to measure a distance now here we only obtain the coordinate right how to measure a distance and how to measure an angle using total station till then bye bye thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and click the bell button for more of the very latest videos